Hello, welcome to this uh, demonstration of BX project software. This is uh, the fifth in a row um, and we're going to see how you can do your invoicing on, uh, on projects. Now let's go to our project, our project master data and take our demonstration uh, project project Madrid we see we have seen in the in the former demonstration how to work with this now the last last step we have to do is um, first of all make a billing scheme and then do some invoicing now if we look at projects in basis you have two ways of doing invoicing either way you base your your invoicing on a fixed price or you base your invoice on a time and material basis Let's do a fixed price. I already copied it as we saw the complete um, billing scheme, which is very convenient because we can link it, as we see here in this example, to um, milestones, um, to, to activities which are finished, or I can link it on a date if I want to. Now, if I link it here on, on milestones and activities, as soon as they are finished, the uh, invoice uh, will be uh, will be put ready and could, can be printed. In this case, we just do it uh, based on a date. So here, if I have made my my down payment uh, schedule or my, my my invoicing schedule, I can have an overview. In this case, when I start it, only from this uh, project I see only this one. Otherwise, I get a complete overview, and it's a very simple one I can say create an invoice I can uh, make a choice of, of a couple of things I create a draft um, I can add dates so that I can uh, have my costs and my uh, turnover in the same period and in the end I just want an invoice no. that's what the system did it's created my invoice I can close this and if I reload I see that my invoice is made and I can go there and see what the system did. Just one invoicing line. This is the total amount and I had a 30% of it. So it's a very straightforward way. If you do uh, time and material invoicing, uh, you get more selections because you can choose what you want exactly to be invoiced, uh, for what prices, uh, etc. So you have uh, even more control and uh, the system works the same. You see here what you uh, uh, what you invoiced. Now on the project reports, you have a complete overview of of uh, everything you did. So all the costs you make, um, everything you uh, you invoiced. Um, just just a simple example. I will put my Madrid um, report here. Now. Very straightforward, the project price, what are the work in progress uh, costs, um, what's the gross profit, what's the net profit, some dates. You can see here um, my billing plan, so I can uh, see exactly when I have to do what. You see um, structure, so what's the budget, what are the actual costs and, and what uh, comes more. You see here that you have one uh, invoice yet. Uh, you don't have any journal entries because you can link uh, everything uh, as a journal entry or uh, a purchase uh, uh, invoice. You can link that as well. And you have some statistics as well. So everything you do, you can see either way in a complete report set and always in the project master data and most of it also in the <coughs> graphical plan, plan board where project managers, managers can have a complete overview. This was pretty much is it. So we saw all the basic elements of the project software and uh, we will make more smaller detailed uh, demonstrations as well if you want to see um, some more information about uh, specific subjects. There was this, it. Thank you very much.